To YouTube or not to YouTube? That is the question, isn't it, Helga? <laughs> okay, so now that you've been thrown headfirst into my weird and zany sense of humor, let's get down to business, shall we? So why would I, a 38, almost 39-year-old millennial, want to start a YouTube channel? Well, that's a lot to unpack, so let's go grab a cup of tea, have a seat, and I'll try to explain my line of reasoning to you. I've been doing a lot of reflection on my life as of late, especially since I'm at this pivotal point where my kids are both growing. My oldest has just graduated high school and is off to college, and my youngest is two years from flying the coop. And I feel like with all this stuff happening in my life that I'm having a bit of a midlife identity crisis, if you will. As part of this whole self-reflection thing, I've come up with three reasons why I want to do this YouTube channel. The first reason is that unless I'm forcing somebody to take a selfie with me, I'm almost always behind the camera. And even when I was younger, there are very few pictures of me that exist, and there's certainly no videos. This is the only baby picture that I personally have of myself. Others exist, but they are few and far between, and I don't have copies of them. It's a weird thing to exist in a world where so much of our lives are documented at this point in time with social media and everything. And I personally don't really have a lot to look back on. I can look back at pictures of my kids and I can remember the trips and stuff that we went on, but I don't have any pictures of me and I don't have any videos of me enjoying life other than the ones that have sort of been forcefully taken over the years by asking other people to try to do that for me. So really, I've simply been recording other people's lives and not my own, which of course, you know, is what we parents do, right? <laughs> So my second reason for starting this YouTube channel is, as far as identity goes, what I share with the world, what I have been willing to embrace and own, been a seriously watered down version of who I am at my deepest level. My entire life has been driven so much by fear. I always feel like I have to be someone else when I'm interacting with di different people depending on who that person is. As I hit my mid-30s, I slowly started to pull back on that and started owning who I was, but I still have a lot of room where I need to grow on this and do better. The best example of this fear-driven life is really around my spiritual path. I left the church 18 years ago, and I have never looked back. But because of the fact that most of the people that I exist around are churchgoers and religious in their own right, I hide my own religious leanings so that I can make other people comfortable. And because I fear judgment and the loss of those connections. I'm a witch, so there, I mean, there's no getting around that. I identified as a witch at a very young age and was forced by my family and society to really bottle that up and hide that part of me. <laughs> How I just said that, reminds me of Sally Owens in Practical Magic, where she's like doing the phone tree to get everybody to come to her little saver sister seance at the end. And she's like, I'm a witch. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I will do an entirely different video on my spiritual journey. So if you want to see that, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll know when that video goes live. The third reason is that I need a creative outlet. A large part of me identifies as an artist. I love to create. And oh man, does my ADHD love craft projects. Maybe craft supplies, but definitely craft projects. Actually, I don't know if it's my ADHD or if it's the Pisces in me that likes arts more. Maybe they're conspiring against me. That's a thought. When I was a kid, one of the things that I really wanted to do was I wanted to make movies. Movie creation has always been something that really fascinated me and Funny enough, the very first video that, or movie that I watched that sparked this interest in me was the Flintstones movie. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's definitely not the normal spooky vibe that I have going on, but oh my God, that video or that movie is just so good. Highly recommend it. Uh, it really made me like, just look at the movie industry and be like, this is amazing. How did they do this? And with this fascination, I mean, I even came up with my own name when I was 10 for my movie production company. I was gonna call it Terror Tech Studios because let's be honest, if I'm embracing who I am, I am in love with everything spooky. Actually, maybe love isn't a strong enough word. How about obsessed? I'm obsessed with all things spooky and I may or may not be known as the queen of Halloween. Okay, maybe nobody calls me that, but everyone knows that I'm obsessed with Halloween. So there's that. <laughs> I might not be creating scary movies on here, but I will still get to scratch that in and use my creative voice to tell my own story. So moving into 2024, I told myself that I was gonna fully let go of fear. I was going to embrace myself, going to start owning my life, and I was gonna move fully into who I am as a person. And in doing all of that, I was gonna be more creative and expressive in my day-to-day -day life. So can YouTube help me accomplish all those things? Well, that is a big ask. <laughs> 
but I think that what it will give me is a much needed creative outlet where I can document my life instead of documenting other people's lives so that I can look back on all the things that I love and am interested in in the future. I think it'll also help me to create a community of like-minded people who share similar interests and passions as I do. And that'll kind of give me a little world in a way to where I can feel more comfortable with expressing myself and not being afraid to be who I am around others. So starting now for at least one year, I'm going to start documenting my life and sharing my likes and interests with the world. It may take me a while to come into my own voice on this platform and it may take me a while to find my own style, but I'm definitely looking forward to the challenge. So I hope that if you've made it this far into the video, you will be intrigued enough to hang around and see what all I have to offer. I want my channel to be a community. I want it to be a place where we can grow and we can connect with one another and where we we can embrace who we really are without fear of judgment or criticism from others. So if you want to join me on this little YouTube journey that I'm creating here, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I am so thankful that you took the time to watch the video and I really, really appreciate you. And yeah, just thank you and have a great day.